Hello and welcome to Budget Fishing. It's the first time I've been out on the bank for a long time. Um, and I've uh, got a day ticket today over at Shearwater. So, I'll spin the camera around uh, in a second and let's see what we've... Uh, you can, so you can see what we've got in front of us. So I'm right at the very, very far end. Um, so as you go through the main gates and go all the way around, um, if you've ever fished fish Shearwater before, you'll know that that's sort of the shallows area down here. Spanning it all the way around, as you can see. Lovely, lovely setting. So I'm here for the day. It's uh, just coming up to nine o'clock. I decided to be a little bit lazier and not get out of bed first thing this morning. Probably be here through till six. Large, large, large head of uh, fish in here from bream, uh, carp of common and mirror, and uh, the occasional catfish as well, apparently likes to rear its head. So I'll be fishing with three rods. I'm thinking I'm going to sort of go one over that way, sort of one straight out in the middle, and as I've got a load of space round to, uh, round to my side, I might just go one to the left as well. Um, if you know the uh, the bed layout of Shearwater, it's sort of, um, it's quite shallow up until you get to about sort of 30, 40 foot out, and then it sort of drops off to about four foot, uh, four to six foot, so... Um, this end is obviously a little bit shallower. They do like to spawn up that end. I don't think it's quite warm enough for them to be spawning yet, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll find out later on if there's any fish sort of looking for places to uh, make nest later on uh, this year. But uh, first things first, I need to get the stuff out of the car and get set up. So, three rods out now. Um, I have one over to the island, around about roughly at the tip of my finger. Next one is over here, completely open water, about the tip of my finger. That's had a couple of knocks so far. And then where the swan is at the moment, I'm about here. Hopefully it hasn't moved, but um, if you look over there, you can. I don't know if you can see it too much from on the camera. There is some uh, water disturbance going on there that isn't wind. And getting a couple of knocks on that middle one. The middle one seems to be uh, probably been plagued by a bream. Um, fish show just over there just then. But uh, yeah, rods are out, traps are set. Let's see what happens. So we're fish on.
So this isn't the one that I just filmed catching because I just had another take so I had to get rid of it quite quickly. First one was about, I don't know, 16 pound. This one's 10, pretty much on the nose. As you can see, so we're not gonna play a game. That's uh, number two so far. Nice little 10 pound bar of gold. Let's get him back. That was 10 minutes of complete and utter madness. Um, two fish down, like I say, one of about 16, uh, one of, well, I managed to weigh the second one, it was 10. Um, but yeah, I've got two rods out of the water at the moment, so I'll get them back in a second. Net's out. Oh, I'm exhausted after that, and it's only, I don't think it's even 10 o'clock yet. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's not even 10 o'clock, so uh, let's hope the day goes a little bit more smooth than that. And uh, a few more fish to come. So I just thought I'd uh, run through a couple of little bits with regards to share water. So it's um, the first time I've been here since before uh, COVID and all the lockdowns and everything, uh, when it was owned or ran by the Longleat Estate. Um, didn't used to mind it then, you used to be able to pay on the bank um, and all was good. However, the guys running it now have done a fantastic job. Uh, the only annoying thing is you've got to book through the Go Catch app, um, which a lot of people seem to have issues with. I was quite lucky, I managed to get straight through. Um, I went straight through, straight through the payment, job was a good one. The only thing I didn't get was the code for the gate um, come through once I'd done the booking, but uh, that's neither here nor there. But uh, yeah, anyway, so what they've actually done is, uh, if you haven't been here before, is they've cleared down loads and loads of sort of um, debris or sort of waste area. Um, all the way down the banks um, they've done it on both sides so you've got the road side and the uh, the other side but uh, they've cleared all loads and loads of trees down labeled all the swims so i'm actually up in swim two i think it's swim two um swim one just to the side of me um which is closest to the shallows um but yeah loads of room for each of them uh, you've got to be wary obviously there are overhanging trees so if you uh, release a line too soon on a cast you may end up snagging yourself on a tree but yeah, all the way down, um, swims are nice, uh, they've got plenty of space around them. Um, the ground is a bit unlevel, which uh, is not ideal for a couple of bits and pieces, but it, it's not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they've done a fantastic job here. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, it's, well, the only thing I don't think they've done it to anything to is the stocking, so there's still plenty of fish in here. Um, loads of commons, loads of mirrors. Uh, the only thing I would say is don't use sweet corn whilst you're here unless you want to catch bream. Um, I've done it a number of times in the past, sort of a bit of popped up sweet corn, um, or a bit of proper sweet corn with a uh, pop up sweet corn on it as well. And uh, yeah, you will get smashed by the bream. Um, don't get me wrong, they're half decent sizes. Apparently, there's a couple that go up to about £12. Average of the bream is about four. Um, but yeah, you just keep constantly pulling in loads of snot. So. Uh, but yeah, I would say the new uh, people running the place have done a fantastic job so far. I just thought I'd do a quick run, of, run through of the rigs being used. So as you can see, straightforward hair rig with uh, Pacific Tuna Boilie on the end. Come up to the lead clip with a quick release um, clip underneath there, uh, weight, and then going up to the leader here, it's about a metre long leader, um, as you can see, sort of just going up there, um, but yeah, it's literally been that simple, PVA bag of uh, Pacific Tuna pellet, um, well sorry, uh, PVA mesh of Pacific Tuna pellet, literally just uh, wrapped around the hook a couple of times uh, to make sure it sort of, the boilie ends up sat on the little bed of it, um, and that's it, straight out into the uh, straight out into the big blue um, and let's see uh, let's see what else so comes this in. is the other rig that I'm using uh, as mentioned I've got two on the hair rig uh, setup and I've got this one on a uh, the helicopter rig with a combi rig at the end uh, with a pop-up on there as well so there's a Pacific tuna pop-up um, which will just sort of sit uh, floating off the the bottom sort of like so um, that's done the damage already obviously the uh, Helicopter rig setup sort of keeps the the weight well away from the bait. So uh, yeah, should be all good on that. It's worked once already. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this one back out. 
another little PVA mesh bag with Pacific Tuners uh, pellets in there. And like I say, that's a Pacific Tuner uh, pop-up boilie as well. So um, like I say, we've it's one all with regards to the rigs. Um, so yeah, let's see if uh, we can get this one out and uh, do some damage again. So quarter past 12 now. Um, I've uh, still only had the two carp. Uh, I did just land a bream. It was about three pound. Uh, it didn't even come out of the water. It done the typical sort of two tugs on the bite alarm. Line went a bit tight and um, it just came in like a dead weight, which was uh, lovely. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit quiet. I've just rebaited two of them. One of them's still out from this morning, so I might bring that in and uh, redo that one in a bit. But uh, yeah, I can't complain because the weather is, it's meant to be about 19 degrees, it's a light breeze, um, it's just nice to be out. It's been so long. Hopefully with um, work I've arranged now to get Mondays off as my day off in the week, so the, the aim is there'll be more fishing days coming up. So um, yeah, hopefully it won't be uh, too long before the, uh, the next session videos and stuff come up. But uh, yeah, quick update on the fact that uh, there's a few bits and pieces uh, that have happened, but uh, nothing else of note since. So this is the sort of thing I'm getting at the moment. Middle rod. Little beep. As you can see, it's dropping down a little bit. I'm hoping it might just tear off. My money's on, there's a bream on the end. <clears throat> Love to get a good video of the re uh, real screaming off, but... Uh, I don't think this one's going to be it. But who knows? Maybe Mr. Bream is there. Maybe it's a cart playing with the stuff. Does anybody else talk to themselves whilst they're fishing? Or is it just me? It's uh, absolute chaos again. We've got Double take. First one. In at about nine. Second one. In at thirteen. So two lovely bars of gold. I'm going to quickly get them away whilst it's hot and go again. Four cart, all double takes. And we're in again. Another ten pounder. Pretty certain they're all the same bloody fish. But uh, single take this time, thankfully. All right, let's get him back because it's. So, after that one, that's five carp so far today. One bream. Um, it's, a bit, it's been a bit weird actually, it's been really quiet um, most of the day. Then I get a double take, nothing but that little bream. Then there was another double take, nothing, and then a, another a single one. So, not a bad day. Uh, I've got about an hour left and then I'll make my way home. It's about 20 past four at the moment, but uh, I don't know, I just feel exhausted after that. I think the double take's just a... Uh, it's exciting when you get one anyway, but put double takes in the mix and yeah, it's all crazy. But uh, nothing over sort of 30, well, apart from the one this morning at about sort of 16, but all the rest have been basically double figures, sort of <clears throat> 10, between 9 and 13 pound basically. Um, but yeah, so far so good, not a bad day session. Uh, let's hope for one more before the end of today. So that's it, session done, uh, five fish in total. Well, if you don't count the bream, um, otherwise it was five carp, one bream, biggest about 16, uh, smallest about nine. Um, 15 quid for a day ticket, can't complain. Um, some good action throughout the day. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you've got this far, please don't forget to like uh, the video, subscribe to the channel, and tick the bell to make sure you get notifications when the videos go up. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm knackered after that, it was only a day session, but uh, but yeah, hopefully, like I say, you've enjoyed it, um, I certainly did, and uh, hopefully there'll be some more videos up soon. 
Any uh, questions, pointers, anything that you want to raise, and please don't forget to put anything in, uh, don't hesitate to put anything in the comments. Um, but yeah, I'm off home for a shower and something to eat, um, and uh, tight lines to all of you.